Before beginning the procedure, be sure to plan for the student's privacy while the procedure is being performed. Review the student's individualized health care plan and or the health care provider's orders. Gather the equipment and place on a clean surface. Explain the procedure to the student at her level of understanding. If the student is able, encourage her to assist in the procedure as much as possible to help her learn self-care skills. Position the student on a cot or bed. Assist the student with undressing. Place a disposable pad underneath the student. Wash your hands. Arrange the equipment so that you have easy access to it during the procedure. Put on clean gloves. Lubricate the tip of the catheter with a water-soluble lubricant and place the catheter on a clean surface. With your non-dominant hand, separate the labia and hold open with your fingers. Using your dominant hand, wash the area with cleansing wipes or washcloths, starting at the top of the labia, moving toward the anus. Repeat the procedure a total of three times, once down each side and once down the middle, using a clean wipe or washcloth each time. Locate the urinary meatus. Grab the catheter with your dominant hand. Gently insert the catheter into the urinary meatus until urine starts to flow. While inserting the catheter, if you meet resistance, try the following. Rotate the catheter. Have the student sit or lie in a different position. If you are still unable to insert the catheter or the student experiences pain, remove the catheter and follow up with the parent or guardian and healthcare provider. When the urine begins to flow, insert the catheter one inch further. When urine flow has stopped, remove the catheter slowly. Remove your gloves, wash your hands, assist the student in dressing as needed. If ordered by the healthcare provider, measure the amount of urine prior to discarding. Discard the urine per infection control procedures and your school district's policy. If the student reuses the catheter, clean as instructed. Document the intervention and outcome in the student's health care record. Update the student's parent or guardian and health care provider as needed.